Oh, we're all breathing, I, I hope. Um, yeah, I do, I do do circular breathing on the, the flutes, which feels really amazing. Um, the limiting factor, circular breathing is something I really would recommend everybody to do. You don't have to take up the didgeridoo to do it. Um, yeah, when, I, when somebody told me about it, I remember when I was really little, somebody told me about a bicycle. And I said, that, that won't work. They're in line. How are you going to balance? So I had that sort of mind where things were like not possible until I experienced them. It was the same with circular breathing in high school. Somebody described the concept. And I said, not possible. And I've talked to many people since then who are in that camp. And that's a good starting place. If you're really sure, it can't be done. But there's somebody standing in front of you that can show you. Um, so I've done it a lot on the clarinet and the bass clarinet, which was my focus for a long time. Without a certain level of resistance up here, you can't, you can't use this as a temporary lungs long enough to get an inhale through the nose. That's all that's happening. Continuous exhale is a better name for it. So you're exhaling from here. You cut that off with the mm, the glottis, and use this as a temporary lung puff, and then breathe in from directly through the nasal. So if you can't get a resistance to allow a long period of time, then it's not possible. So when you're, when you're really bad at flutes, you're wasting lots of air, like when I was a beginner. Well, only for the first seven years I played. <laughs> you're wasting lots of air. You can't really do it while I can do it now. So once your embouchure improves, your efficiency and your sound improves, then the option of circular breathing on flutes opens up for you. You don't have to puff the cheeks, which is great. You do it in the throat or something. It's, it's one of the things I'm really bad at teaching. I like teaching. I like to get to the root of things and have clarity. But circular breathing, I don't know if any people interested in learning it yet. It's like, oh, that's hard. It's really not. Uh, any other questions while we're doing a little uh, MacGyver over here? <laughs> That is, a, that, is, that is in the line with brass instruments. You go like this. So that's a sound production method. What did we do is in line with tuba, trombone, trumpet, and um, did we do? Yeah, so the lips are vibrating to create the tone on all of those instruments. So string instruments, the string vibrates. So on the drum, the drum head, the cymbal, the cymbal itself, Tibetan bowl gong, it's, it's the thing itself. Clarinet and saxophone oboe bassoon, like I used to play. The single reed is the reed itself. So, what is the substance that vibrates on all flutes to make the sound? Air. Air. It is a magical instrument. There is nothing you can hold that's vibrating to make the sound. I'm not vibrating the bamboo or some part of my physiology. So, it's just, you know, when the air blows across the cut reeds or whatever get the sound, so that's kind of fun. I like to try to talk that way to younger flute students to get them to think of magic. Although I was in the position the other day of taking the side that magic exists versus my fourth grade very sharp silver flute student who was wearing all pink with a unicorn on her t-shirt and she said, magic is not real. <laughs> I said, That magic means something coming out of no, out of nothing. I was like, yeah, where'd you come from? She, she knew enough about biology. She kind of had, had to admit. She kind of came out of no, no word. Not, not that I always get into like, like the, the, the short movie, like I'm right with my fourth and fifth grade students. But. I like the definition that magic is the movement of energy at will. And that's what you're doing there. Great magic. That's a good definition. I created my own definition of magic is maximum power for least effort. But that could be misunderstood in a bad way. In instrument training, it's useful, but... You know.